The Gospel of Judas, translated by Marvin Meyer. The secret revelatory discourse that Jesus spoke with Judas Iscariot in the course of a week, three days before his passion. When he appeared on the earth, he performed signs and great wonders for the salvation of humankind. Some walked on the path of justice, but others stumbled in their mistakes, and so the twelve disciples were called. He began to discuss with them the mysteries that transcend the world and what will happen at the end. Many a time he does not appear as himself to the disciples, but you will find him as a child among them. Now one day he was with his disciples in Judea, and he happened upon them as they were assembled together, seated and practicing their piety. When he drew near to his disciples as they were assembled together, seated, and giving thanks over the bread, he laughed. The disciples said to him, Master, why are you laughing at our prayer of thanksgiving? What is it we have done? This is what is proper. He answered and said to them, I'm not laughing at you. You aren't doing this out of your own will, but because in this way your God will be praised. They said, Master, you are the Son of our God. Jesus said to them, How is it that you know me? I tell you the truth, no generation will know me among the people who are with you. When his disciples heard this, they began getting angry and hostile and blaspheming against him in their minds. Jesus recognized that they did not understand, and he said to them, Why has your concern produced this hostility? Your God who is within you and his powers, and you have become angry within your souls. Let any of you who is a strong enough person bring forward the perfect human being and stand before my face. They all said, We are strong. But none of their spirits dared to stand before him except Judas Iscariot. He was able to stand before him, yet he could not look him in the eye, but he turned his face away. Judas said to him, I know who you are and from what place you have come. You have come from the immortal realm of Barbello, and I am not worthy to pronounce the name of the one who has sent you. Jesus understood that Judas was contemplating the rest of what is lofty, and he said to him, Move away from the others, and I shall explain to you the mysteries of the kingdom, not so that you can attain it, but you will go through a great deal of grief. For somebody else will take your place so that the twelve disciples may be complete once again with their God. Judas said to him, When will you explain these things to me? And how will the great day of light dawn for the generation? But when he had said these things, Jesus departed from him. The next day in the morning he appeared to his disciples. They said to him, Master, where did you go, and what did you do when you departed from us? Jesus said to them, I went to a different generation, one that is great and holy. His disciples said to him, Lord, what is the great generation that is exalted over us and is holy, but is not present in these realms? When Jesus heard these things, he laughed and said to them, Why are you reflecting in your minds about the generation that is powerful and holy? I tell you the truth. No one born of this realm will behold that generation. No angelic host of the stars will rule over that generation. No human of mortal birth will be able to accompany it, because that generation is not from, text missing, that has come to be, text missing. The generation of people among you is from the generation of humanity, text missing. Power which, text missing, through which you rule. When his disciples heard these things, each one was troubled in spirit. They were speechless. On another day, Jesus approached them. They said to him, Master, we have had a vision of you, for we have seen dreams of great power last night. He said to them, Why have you, text missing, and hidden yourselves away? They said, We have seen a huge house in which there was a great altar and twelve men. They were priests, we would say, and a name. A crowd was in attendance at that altar until the priests were done presenting the offerings. We also were in attendance. Jesus said, What kind of people are the priests? They said, Some abstain for two weeks. Some sacrifice their own children, others their wives, in praise and humility with one another. Some have sex with men. Some perform acts of murder. Some commit all sorts of sins and lawless deeds. And the men who stand before the altar call upon your name, and through all the actions of their deficiency, 
that altar becomes full. After they said these things, they became silent since they were upset. Jesus said to them, Why are you upset? I tell you the truth, all of the priests who stand at that altar call upon my name. I tell you again, my name has been written on the text missing. Of the generations of the stars through the generations of people, they have planted trees in my name without fruit in a shameful way. Jesus said to them, You are the ones presenting the offerings at the altar you have seen. That is the God you serve, and you were the twelve men you have seen. And the cattle brought in are the offerings that you have seen. They are the multitude you lead astray before that altar. The ruler of this world will stand and use my name in this manner, and generations of pious people will cling to him. After him, another man will come forward from those who are immortal, and another will come from the child killers, and another from those who have sex with men and those who abstain, and the rest of those who are impure and lawless and prone to error, as well as those who say, We are like angels. They are the stars that bring everything to its end. For the generations of people it has been said, Look, God has received your offerings from the hands of the priests. That is a minister of errors. But it is the Lord who commands all, who is the Lord of all. On the last day they will be put to shame. Jesus said to them, Stop sacrificing, text missing, that you have, text missing, on the altar, since they are over your stars and your angels, and they have already come to their end there. So let them be, text missing, before you and let them go, text missing, generations, text missing. A baker cannot feed all of creation that is under heaven. And when the disciples heard these things, they said to him, Lord, help us, save us. Jesus said to them, Stop disputing with me. Each of you has your own star, and everyone, text missing, that has not come, text missing, spring of water for the tree of this realm, text missing, after a while, text missing, but that one has to provide water for the paradise of God and the race that will endure because that one will not defile the way of life that generation, but from eternity to eternity. Judas said to him, Rabbi, what fruit is it that this generation produces? Jesus said, The souls of all generations of people will die. When these people, however, bring the time of the kingdom to completion, and the spirit parts from them, their bodies will die, but their souls will be alive and will be taken up. Judas said, and what will the rest of the generations of people do? Jesus said, Nobody can sow seed on rock and harvest its produce. This is also how the defiled race and corruptible wisdom, text missing, the hand that created mortal people, and their souls ascend to the eternal realms on high. I tell you the truth, there is no authority or angel or power that will be able to behold these realms that this great holy generation will behold. After Jesus said these things, he went off. Judas said, Master, just as you have listened to all of them, now also listen to me, for I have seen a powerful vision. Jesus heard this and laughed and said to him, O oh, thirteenth demon, why are you so excited? Speak your mind then, and I'll hear you out. Judas said to him, I have seen myself in the vision as the twelve disciples were stoning me and treating me harshly. And I also came to the place that, text missing, after you. I saw a house, text missing, and my eyes could not grasp its dimensions. Important people moved around in it. That house had a thatch roof, and within the house there was a crowd, text missing. Master, let me also come in with these people. Jesus answered and said, Your star has deceived you, Judas. Further. No person of mortal birth is worthy to go into the house you have seen. That place is kept for the saints, where sun and moon will not rule, nor the day, but they will stand there always in the eternal realm with the holy angels. Look, I have told you the mysteries of the kingdom, and I have taught you the error of the stars, and, text missing, send, text missing, on the twelve realms. Judah said, Master, is it possible that my seed is subject to the rulers? 
Jesus answered and said to him, Come, that I may... Text missing. But you will go through a great deal of grief when you see the kingdom in its entire generation. When Judas heard these things, he said to him, What advantage is there for me, since you have set me apart from that generation? Jesus answered and said, You will be the thirteenth, and you will be cursed by the other generations, but eventually you will rule over them. In the last days they will, text missing, up to the holy generation. Jesus said, Come, then I may teach you about the things that no person will see. For there is a great and infinite realm, whose dimensions no angelic generation could see, in which there is the great invisible spirit, which no eye of angel has seen, no thought of the mind has grasped, nor was it called by a name. And a cloud of light appeared in that place, and he said, Let an angel come into existence as my attendant. And a great angel, the self-generated God of light, came from the cloud. Four more angels came into existence because of him from another cloud, and they served as attendants for the angelic self-generated. And the self-generated said, Let Adamus come into existence. And the emanation came to be. And he created the first luminary to rule over him. And he said, Let angels come into existence for adoration of him. And ten thousands without number came to be. And he said, Let an eternal being of light come into existence. And he came to be. He established the second luminary to rule over him, with ten thousands of angels without number for adoration. This is how he created the rest of the eternal beings of light, and he made them rule over them. And he created for them ten thousands of angels without number for assistance. Adamus was in the first cloud of light, which no angel could see among all those who are called God. And he, text missing, that, text missing, after the image, text missing. And after the likeness of this angel, he revealed the incorruptible generation of Seth to the twelve luminaries, twenty-four, text missing. He revealed seventy-two luminaries in the incorruptible generation by the will of the Spirit. The seventy-two luminaries in turn revealed three hundred sixty luminaries in the incorruptible generation by the will of the Spirit, so that their number would be five each. Their father consists of the twelve eternal beings of the twelve luminaries, and for each eternal being there are six heavens, so that there are seventy-two heavens for the seventy-two luminaries, and for each of them five firmaments, in order that there might be three hundred and sixty firmaments. They were given authority in a great angelic host without number, for honor and adoration, and in addition virgin spirits as well, for honor and adoration of all the eternal beings and the heavens and their firmaments. Now the multitude of these immortal beings is called cosmos, that is, corruption, through the Father and the seventy-two luminaries with the self-generated and his seventy-two eternal beings. There the first human appeared with his incorruptible powers. The eternal being that appeared with his generation, the one in whom are the cloud of knowledge and the angel, is called El, text missing, realm, text missing. After these things, text missing, said, Let twelve angels come into existence to rule over chaos in the underworld. And look, from the cloud an angel appeared, whose face was blazed with fire, and whose countenance was fouled with blood. His name was Nebro, which is interpreted as rebel, but others called him Yaldabaoth. And another angel, Sakla, also came from the cloud. So Nebro created six angels with Sakla to be attendants, and these produced twelve angels in the heavens, and each one received a share in the heavens. And the twelve rulers talked to the twelve angels, Let each of you, tax missing, and let them, tax missing, generation, tax missing, five angels. The first is Seth, who is called Christ. The second is Harmatoth, who is, tax missing. The third is Galilah. The fourth is Yobel. The fifth is Adonaios. These are the five who ruled over the underworld, and the first over chaos.
Then Sekla said to his angels, Let's create a human being after the likeness and after the image. They formed Adam and his partner Eve, who in the clouds is called Zoe. For all the generations seek him under his name, but each of them calls her with their own names. Now Sakla did not command, text missing, except, text missing, the generations, text missing, this, text missing. And the ruler said to him, Your life is extended for a time, along with your children. Judah said to Jesus, What advantage is there for a human being to live? Jesus said, Why are you concerned about this, that Adam, along with his generation, has received the length of his life with a designated period of time, in the place where he has received his kingdom with a designated period of time with his ruler? Judah said to Jesus, Does the human spirit die? Jesus said, This is the reason why God commanded Michael to give the spirits of people to them on loan for adoration. But the Great One commanded Gabriel to give spirits to the great generation without a king, the spirit and the soul. Therefore, the rest of the souls, text missing, light, text missing, around, text missing, spirit within you, which you have made to dwell in this flesh among the generations of angels. But God caused knowledge to be granted to Adam and those who are with him, so that the kings of chaos in the underworld might not dominate them. Judah said to Jesus, Then what will these generations do? Jesus said, I tell you the truth. The stars above all bring matters to their end. When Sakla completes his time designated for him, their first star will shine with the generations, and they will bring to completion what has been mentioned. Then they will do immortal things in my name and slay their children, and they will, text missing, in my name, and your star will rule over the thirteenth realm. Afterward, Jesus laughed. Judas said, Master, why are you laughing at us? Jesus answered and said, I'm not laughing at you, but rather at the error of the stars, because these six stars wandered around with these five warriors, and all of them will be destroyed with their creatures. Judas said to Jesus, Those who have been baptized in your name, then what will they do? Jesus said, I tell you the truth, this baptism in my name, text missing, to me. I tell you the truth, Judas, those who bring sacrifices to Sakla, text missing, God, text missing, everything evil. But you will exceed all of them, for you will sacrifice the man who bears me. Already your horn has been lifted up, and your anger has flared up, and your star has burned brightly, and your heart has grown strong. I tell you the truth, your last days, text missing, become, text missing, grieve, text missing, the ruler, since he will be overthrown. And then the image of the great generation of Adam will be magnified, for before the heaven, the earth, and the angels, that generation from the eternal realms exists. Look, you have been informed of everything. Lift up your eyes and behold the cloud and the light that is within it and the stars that are circling it. And the star that leads the way is your star. Judas lifted up his eyes and beheld the cloud of light and he entered it. Those who were standing on the ground heard a voice coming from the cloud saying, Great generation, text missing, image, now their high priest murmured because he had stepped into the great room for his prayer. But some scholars were there watching closely in order to lay hold of him during the prayer, for they were afraid of the people since he was regarded by all of them as a prophet. And they came over to Judas and said to him, What are you doing in this place? You are Jesus' disciple. He answered them in accordance with their wish, and Judas received some money and handed him over to them.